today, I want to teach you guys how to shut up the Hebrew Israelites and not necessarily have a conversation with them. I can't tell you the joy that I have when I'm out there and I'm dealing with the Hebrew Israelites and I'm not out there, you know, having a back and forth with them, playing Bible ping pong with them. You know what I mean? There are ways that you can engage the Hebrew Israelites and stop them before they even get started. Because what a lot of you don't understand when you're dealing with the Hebrew Israelites is that they're trained to lead the conversation. And that conclusion that they want to lead you to is that you're an Israelite and that you need to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. But there are some things they are not prepared for. And no general, no captain, nobody in the Torah nights, no one um, on, on the internet will be prepared for some of the answers that I'm about to give you right now, one of the answers that I'm going to give you. But if you want to shut them up, throw this verse at them and see how they respond. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. It says, there is neither, there, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And that should be your answer every single time they ask you what your nationality is. Because in reality, guys, in reality, since they want to try to get spiritual with you, in Christ, there is no Jew and there's no Gentile. They can't argue that you're an Israelite and deal with Galatians chapter 3. This is never my goal to, to have them bring me to a conclusion that I'm an Israelite. I've already made up on my mind that I'm not an Israelite. I've already made up on my mind that I'm not an Israelite. I've already made up on my mind that I'm not an Israelite. I've already made up on my mind that I'm not an Israelite. I've already made up on my mind that I'm not an Israelite. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom to the elect, okay, and the uh, men striving. To be of the hopeful elect. Um, I want to do a video. Response video of this. Uh, looks like a tear. <laughs> it seems like in the spirit man. This guy. Almost. I mean. You know. You got a lot of our people who do come against the truth in general. You know. We do understand that. You know. But in this situation. This guy here. His spirit is possibly a tear I, I believe this guy's an Edomite I mean you don't shave your face as close as this guy look man I know our script, the scripture says we surpass the deeds of the wicked but this guy face looks like it doesn't belong a beard doesn't belong that's how good he shaved that face okay this is one shaven face coon or shaven face Edomite whichever one is decided <laughs> anyway uh, to go into the video this guy says how to shut up uh, the black Hebrew Israelites okay you gotta know it's bad when you do a video you make a video on how to uh, answer grown men's questions there's something wrong with that you know you have to do a video to say well this is how you answer these guys is, is as if it's strategic and they have some form of you know they have something in, th these guys have something in mind some arterial motives which we know the motive is to, to stop the truth but there's something wrong with a guy that does a video on how uh, how to answer somebody you know you're talking to grown people man okay if they're getting cut by the scriptures they're getting cut if they can't answer, they can they can't answer. But anyway, you could go with Galatians three, and I'm going to read that. I think he said three, if I'm not mistaken, three and nine or something like that. Uh, three and twenty-eight. It says, uh, "There is neither Jew," and I'm reading it now. Galatians three and twenty-eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or female. For ye are all one in Yahweh, what some say, Jesus Christ. Now, when Paul, Apostle Paul, and uh, you know, when you're dealing with the uh, the apostles, which uh, Apostle Paul wasn't part of the twelve. Okay, when they went out, to, when he went out to do the ministry, okay, you even had other Israelites who was saying, "Well, wait a minute, uh, the, these guys, we can't go to these guys because these guys." Uh, heathens they're following different customs okay 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was Peter he went to. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it was, you know, in the minds of like us today, if we grew up as Israelites and we knew our heritage from birth, and then all of a sudden the angel appeared to us and say, go to the rest of them, you know, that's, uh, they're our people, but they're following these different customs. Why should we go to them? They're, they're not with us. They're not even for us. In fact, they're heathens. Okay? And that's what you see here. When That's why uh, the one you call Jesus in Matthew 10 and 5 says, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this word Gentile really shouldn't even been in the scriptures, but the Lord allowed it for the stumbling blocks. Because that word Gentile is really a Latin word, okay? And some people say it was say a, a nation or which really means foreign, a Gentilius, which means foreigner, or a heathen, okay, a non believer. That's all it is. So when it says Jew and Greek, that means a Jew, someone who knows who they are, or the uh, someone who believes they're Greeks, okay, but are Israelites. Well that's why you had what you call the book of Romans. Because the the letters of Paul went through uh, the, uh, Galatia. Well, that's why you have Galatia. You have Corinth. You have Ephesus. You have Romans. These are all places where Israelites were. Okay? That's all they're saying. So, let me go to another scripture. This is Romans. This is Romans 3. And I'll go to 27. Because you had Israelites who was about the law but they wasn't about the faith okay this is showing that it's bigger than the law which the law still exists but it's about faith because in our captivity everything I've written before time was far learning today so being in the captivity we are today we cannot strictly go on just the law we have to go on the faith as well he didn't go uh, well let's read 3, 3 and 27 this is Romans 3 and 27 it says where is boasting then? Question mark. It is excluded by what law? With a question mark. Of works? With a question mark. It says nay. But by law of faith. Okay. So that's part of the law in itself. The faith. Okay. It says therefore we conclude that man is justified by faith uh, without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? With a question mark. Is he not also of the Gentiles? With a question mark. See, because you have all people uh, that believed that the Israelites who was following, just as we believe, two-thirds are not going to make it. But then we have what you call the lost sheep, okay, which are uh, Israel, because we don't care about two-thirds. But at the same time, we got to call out to them amongst them because the gent the the elect gentiles are amongst them okay so this is where it gets confusing well let's go to another scripture real quick okay because the lord is not an author of confusion if you read that okay uh james 1 and 1 it says james a servant of yahweh and a and the lord uh jesus christ which we we know him as yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting so here we have Israelites that was scattered uh, amongst heathens okay because they're scattered abroad that means they're not with the uh, the ones who's following the actual Israelite customs okay because you had Israelites come from all over to come and, and gather together to, um, to follow the customs so a lot of our people okay were uh, growing up in uh, different heritages okay uh, this, the, that's the part of the curses even to the day our people are all over the place uh, in China or in, in, uh, even in Israel some of our people are there in Africa and all other places across the globe so this is what we're doing we're acting as James the servant okay going to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad okay that's all that is so when you go back to Romans or when you go back to Galatians 3 and 28 it says there is neither Jew nor Greek there is the Jew or Israelites that's following the Greek customs which when you look up the word uh, um, 
uh, Hellenist, because these were Hellenistic Jews. Uh, these was Hellenistic Jews that was uh, because they had they were Hellenized to following uh, Greek language and Greek tongue. And you can look this up. I, I can't do a whole video on that, but you can look this up. Okay, the Greeks well, that that um, the Israelites was going to Paul and the Israelites. These were uh, these were Israelites who believed they were Greek. Just like we're Israelites who believe that we're American. There's Israelites who believe they're Jamaican, Haiti, uh, the uh, every Brazilian, or whatever else you want to call it, okay? Um, there's Israelites who believe that they're Chinese. There's Israelites that believe that they're African. They told us we were African American. Uh, so, um, you know, that's pretty much what it, what it is, man. The Gentiles really had no place in the scriptures but the Lord allowed it uh, to, um, for that to happen because you got to understand the Lord didn't need to send his son for all nations to be saved think about it the Lord wouldn't have to send his son if everybody on the planet could be saved there would only be one message so now you're confusing the words of the Lord that's why when you go into Romans 9 and 1 when it says the law and the, the, the promises are all given to the Israelites then you'll read this scripture and say well wait a minute that's confusing how is that possible okay so um, let's go to let's go to Hebrews well let's go to 1st Corinthians let's go to 1st Corinthians uh, 12 and 2 uh, it says ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as ye were led okay so th now this is going into Corinthians okay so here we go when you read these scriptures it's just not going to be laid out for you to str strictly understand you have to get understanding of what the, the Gentiles are okay now when you go to Tobit 13 and 3 just paraphrasing it, it tells you that's in the Apocrypha it tells you that we were scattered amongst the Gentiles. Okay, now th th these Gentiles is is being used two folds. Gentiles are Gentile Israelites and Gentile heathens. You gotta understand homophones and the way the English language works. That's why how they set it up. Okay, so these Gentiles you you were scattered amongst the Gentiles means those are actually Gentile heathens. So how can the Gentiles be saved? The Israelites who are scattered amongst the Gentile heathens. Okay, it's just that simple, uh, uh, G man. Okay, uh, Hebrews 8 and 8 for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, well, I will make when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Okay, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Well, wait a minute, hold on. This guy just said Jew, Greek, Gentile, male, female. Wouldn't it say that here then? You mean to tell me the Lord is just that confusing? And don't say spiritual Israelite. Okay? There's too many scriptures that go into the fact that the Lord come for the Israelites. There's too many scriptures. If these scriptures wasn't there, you would have an argument. Even in the New Testament, if these scriptures wasn't here, you would have an argument. Okay? And, and then, you know, he, this guy mentions the Torah Knights, but they are Old Testament Israelites only. Uh, they would have more of an argument when it comes to that. But when the New Testament come, comes into play, we have a bigger fight because the way it was worded and the way things were said. Why? Because the Lord wants us to continue to fight. When you read Jude 1 and 3, it says contend, which means argue or fight for the faith. So this is part of it. Without guys like this G-man, without scoffers, without anybody coming against this doctrine then what will we have to fight? Who will we have to fight, contend for? It would just be an idle game. Nobody would, you know, there's no opponent. There, I haven't never seen a, a boxer without an opponent. Who is he supposed to box? The air? He gets tired of hitting the punching bag. He needs an opponent. Because an op opponent will swing back. And that's what you see with these guys, G-Man and these scoffers that said that the, the 12 tribe sign don't exist and all the Israelites are black. I mean, this is what you see. This is why uh, us, and I'll say a great millstone, we have the biggest fight because of the doctrine. It's so much more to defend. 
And you got the other Israelite camps who who are still in the mix up because they're fighting for the uh, you know for the truth as being the Israelites. And you got guys like this who's constantly saying that everybody can make it. But what this guy G Man is not doing is telling everybody to do the research on this word Gentile. Okay, this Latin word. Do the research on it. Okay, uh, Jake look at things as or Edomite, he look at things as he wants to see them, okay? I don't know, this guy, G-Man, tends to be, uh, maybe a tear that's set up. He's a tear and a coon. He's probably both, <laughs> if that's possible, because he got the black skin, so-called black skin. It says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in a day when I took them uh, by the hand, to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. So, this is what the Lord is saying. Let me go to verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So, in order for the Jew and the Greek in, the, the, in their mind, he says there's no Jew nor Greek. It's, it's just everybody. But this is the house of Israel. Okay? Because really, at the end of the day, it's about the Israelites. The fact that we're uh, Judah, Gad, and whatever nationality is pretty much valid. But at the end of the day, we're all Israelites. You know? Not everybody, but the Israelites still exist. So, Jew or Greek is wiped out of the way. Whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, this is what the scripture says in Hebrews. The New Testament. Okay? For this, and now, if it wasn't the, that case, and, and it was for everybody, then he would say he would make a new covenant with the house of the earth. Right? The house of the world, as they like to say. The house of all men. Why did it say that? Is the, is the Bible that contradictory? It's going to be to guys like this. Because if you really believe that the Lord has come for all men, and every man can get on board, then you have to... You have to debate this scripture right here, man. Okay? Hebrews 8 and 10. For this is a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law into their mind and write in their hearts. Okay? And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. When does that happen? As we know from the Israelites from day one, we only had a short amount of peace. But Israelites from day one been going off. So when is this supposed to happen? You can't say this already happened because if the Lord already done that, the earth would be at peace. So this hadn't happened yet. Okay? So why, did, why didn't it say every man? Why didn't it say everybody? Why didn't it just say all men? But some reasons with, the, with, with Paul, when the, uh, the so-called white man took it and he did his translations for Roman Catholic uh, uh, dominance, with universal rulership, okay? That's what they did that for. The John 3.16, the uh, all men, Jew, Greek, Gentile, because you had our Israelites who wanted to be everything else like today. But we still must go to the Jew first, which are the Israelites, who know they're Israelites, then to the Gentile. It's to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. The Gentiles that believe that they're heathens, they believe that they're goddamn Moab. Even confusion of face Gentiles who believe that they're Moab. They believe they're Chinese because they grew up around the Chinese people. You have Italians, Sicilians who believe that they're regular Italians. They're, they're regular Romans. Okay? They believe that. But ultimately, their behavior shows themselves in the spirit of ours. It is the spirit that bears witness. It's not about the flesh or even the color. Okay? Uh, that's all I have on that. Uh, Shalom.